Hey, this is Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. In this video, I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, February 27th, 2019. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic book and pop culture related videos, so please consider subscribing. It's a lighter week for comics, but there are some great titles, especially if you love indie comics. Mad Cave Studios has a new title out this week, and Vault Comics has Wasted Space. Love that issue, glad it became an ongoing, but hey, Let's head over to the computer and I'll show you what I got. We kick this week off with Action Comics number 1008. In this issue, Jimmy Olsen may hold the answers to helping Superman and Lois Lane uncover who's behind the attacks rocking the DC Universe's biggest clandestine organizations. We have a regular cover by Steve Epting. There's also a regular variant by Jeff DeCall. I like both covers, but I'm more of a DeCall fan, so if I have to pick, I'm going to get the DeCall variant. Batgirl number 32, Barbara Gore must protect the congressional candidate as the cormorant tries to take her out. We have a regular cover by Emanuela Lupacino. There's also a regular price variant by Derek Chu. I'm picking up the Chu variant. Detective Comics number 999. This is the story building up to the big Detective Comics issue number 1000. It's got a regular cover. There's also a regular price variant by John Byrne. Flash number 65, this brings us to part four of the Price story arc. There's going to be a regular Chris Burnham cover. There's also a regular Price Michael Golden variant. Heroes in Crisis number six, this issue is actually going to bring back the team of Mr. Miracle. And we're going to have writer Tom King and Mitch Gerads. So there's going to be a regular Mitch Gerads cover and a regular Price variant by Ryan Sook. Justice League Odyssey number six. In this issue, we get the shocking truth about Ghost Sector and why Brainiac hid these planets away for so long. There's a regular cover by Carmine DG on Domenico. There's also a regular price variant by Tony Infante. Martian Manhunter number three. Knowing her partner's not the real John Johns, Detective Diane Mee puts a gun to his head and make him explain his first horrifying night on Earth. We have a regular cover by Riley Rosmo. There's also a regular price variant by Joshua Middleton. I'll pick up the Middleton variant. Old Lady Harley number five. The Joker is reborn, and it's up to Harley to find out if it's the man that she loved before, or if something even more deadly and even more devastating. Wonder Woman number 65. In this issue, Wonder Woman must take on her arch nemesis, Veronica Kale, but even worse, Veronica has the powers of the actual god nemesis under her control. There's a regular Zermanico cover. There's also a regular price variant by Art Germ. Ice Cream Man number 10. This is part two to Hopscotch Melange. There's going to be a regular Martin Morazzo cover. There's also a regular price variant by Juan Ferreira. Oliver number two. Oliver learns a devastating, life-changing truth about his origins and puts his entire adoptive community in danger when he rebels against the oppressive regime that rules over it. He's got three different covers. There's a regular Derek Robertson cover, regular price Cully Hamner variant, and a regular price Rachel Stott variant. I actually like the Rachel Stott variant, so that's the one I'm going to pick up. Spawn 294. In this issue, the clown transforms into the all-new clown violator. There's going to be three different covers for it. There's a regular Francesco Mattina cover, a regular price Francesco Mattina virgin variant, and a regular price Todd McFarlane and Francesco Mattina black and white variant. Age of X-Men Extremist number one. The Extremists consists of Psylocke, Iceman, Northstar, Blob, Jubilee, and Moneta as they protect people from threats they don't even know exist, including the most insidious threat of all, love. There's got four different covers for it. There's a regular Raza cover. There's a regular price connecting variant by N. Hyuk Lee. There's a regular price secret polybag variant by Carlos Pacheco. And there's a one in 50 incentive variant by Emanuela Lupacino. I love that Lupacino cover, 1 in 50 variant, for a miniseries. I'm going to make it my pick of the week. Avengers No Road Home number 3. Rocket Raccoon comes face to face with his own past while the rest of the Avengers search the universe for Shards of Night and they find trouble in the shape of the Children of Nyx. There's a regular cover by Yasmin Putri. There's also a regular price connecting variant. Captain America number 8. This continues the Captain of Nothing story arc. Cap is in custody, and he's accused of murder. As the power elite makes its play against the Avenger, Captain America is in no position to fight back. Who stands with Cap? There's a regular cover by Alex Ross. There's also a regular price scrolls variant by Pepe Larraz. Captain Marvel, braver and mightier number one. Just what we need right before the movie hits the 
theaters, another Captain Marvel series. So let's bring it on. This is going to have a regular cover, and there's a regular price Ron Lim variant. Daredevil number two. The solicitation for this is classified, but I did enjoy the first issue. I think writer with Trip Zdarsky, interior art by Marco Cicchetto, and the cover art by Tedesco. I love all three of those, so I'm going to pick up the regular cover by Tedesco, but there's also a 1 in 25 variant by Mateo Scalera, and a 1 in 50 hidden gem variant by John Romita Jr. Marvel Comics presents number two. This is going to have three different stories in it. First stories of Logan in the fabulous 50s. Next, you're going to have a story of Jungle's Cursed Crusader Gorilla Man. And lastly, Reed Richards and Victor Von Doom enter the space race as Sputnik takes orbit. So they have three different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Arthur Adams. There's a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Michael Cho. And a 1 in 50 incentive variant by Gerald Peril. Savage Sword of Conan number two. The solicit pretty much reads for what issue number one was about. But issue one number one ended with Conan freeing from capture with the guy that was chained to him and his tote. I really enjoyed the first issue, so I'm definitely pick up the second issue. It is going to have three different covers. There's an Alex Ross cover. There's an Incentive Pepe Larraz color variant and a 1 in 50 Incentive Pepe Larraz sketch variant. Superior Spider-Man number three. Outpowered and outclassed by Terex, Otto Octavius somehow turns himself into the cosmically powered Superior Spider-Man. There's a regular cover by Travis Cheris. There's also a regular price Captain Marvel variant by Jesus Saez. X-Force number three. Ahab has returned to exterminate the X-Force. This has two different covers for it. There's a regular Pepe Larraz cover. There's also a regular price Scrolls variant by Butch Geis. Bone Parish number seven. This is from Boom Studios. Even as they wage war on multiple fronts, the Winners family can't help but fracture from within following their shocking loss. This has a regular Rod Rice cover. There's also a regular price variant by Jacob Rebelka. Honor and Curse number one. This is from Mad Cave Studios and written by Mark London, same writer who brought us Knights of the Golden Sun. Jin C. Zakagura was adopted by the LGA clan after witnessing the murder of his parents, but his future looks promising. That is, until the past comes back to haunt him in an evil mountain spirit known as Tengu. Wasted Space number seven. This is from Vault Comics. There's a rescue mission set to save Rex and secure the nukes still threatening to kill everyone. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, February 27th, 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up because I love to hear what everyone's reading. And remember, it's your collection. Buy what you like. This is Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com, and I'll see you guys next week. Yeah.